City cops are trigger happy. You would think it's open season on natives in Rapid City, but these other cops are they're learning all the police ways from from these white white cops. And they're starting to act like them. They're cutting their hair and, and carrying a gun and all, acted all some kind of way, you know. But we gotta remind them who they are and, and who they where they come from, who their people are. We don't we don't treat our people that way. We don't do that to each other. You know, so but it takes all of you guys, all you young guys out there, you know, uh, step up, you know, uh, be a voice, protect your little brothers and sisters, you know, honor your relatives and, and stand with them and, and protect us because we all, all we got is ourselves, you know, nobody else is going to do it for us, so we got to, we got to do it on our own, you know, all these little groups and all these communities, and whether it's in, uh, Pine Ridge or Cheyenne River or Rosebud, you know, we're all the same people. We have to stand up for each other as a whole, not just little groups. And, you know, we got to do it because the Native American community in this country only makes up 1%. And we're outnumbered, we're outgunned, we're out everything. But what we got that they don't got is we got our roll up over there. So you cannot lose that. Always remember your prayers. Good morning, good morning, first of all, and all our relatives, and uh, the, how are you going to say, how are you going to say, the policemen, or are you going to say the pigs, or how are you going to say in your mind? What had happened way back in 1890, way back in 1803, the settlement of the American Indian called June 24th, 1924, that you leave, come to be a citizen of the United States. Then again, 1863 treaty. Again, 1851 treaty. Again, turn me around this way a little bit. You see this, these the churches that first time they brought us here, brought it here in the uh, territory of the Lakota territory. When all that happened, it happened like this to us. So when you look at it, you look at it and very understanding why it happened. Why this is what is taking place. Our children, our children are important. Our grandchildren are important. Now the grandchild. What happened to the police? What the law? There's a supreme law the Lakota people have. Oyate Tawokhe, were you happy? The laws of our country and the laws of our land, we do have all that. But since the language, the language that we lost, our people lost the language. From there, it's a little bit harder. But during those times today, but this morning I spoke with her mother and relatives. Now today, grandson here he didn't expect that to happen. But now he's in the hands of the Great Spirit. What happened to him? What happened to him? We gotta look into it. If we don't look into it, it's gonna happen to our children again. Ooh. It's been happening 24 seven. State welfare, taking our kids. All this thing has happened to our people. Now we've got to work. Stand together, understand together. That way, we're gonna win. We're going to have a pre-understanding to our children. We are so responsible. We are so responsible of our kids. I am so responsible of my sons and daughters. I got nine boys and I got eight daughters. And however they are, some are 40 years old. 
But still, I'm responsible why I brought him to this earth. For that reason, today, we're going to walk. We're going to walk, and you're going to walk. We're going to bring our understanding. We want to say, and we want to let them know the council, what they could do for us. But again, they're in the hands of the law of the United States government. So he is not part of a sovereign nation that who we are today. So how are we going to do? We're going to exercise the human rights. Vine Deloria and I, we fought. We fought for the human rights way back in the 60s. And remember, we walk with the people in Washington, D.C. then. Martin Luther King, Abernathy. We walk with them. We fought the rights for them. But today, still it happened. 1973. 1963, it's happening. And long as we live with the mind of the society attitude of the Washitu way of life, it's going to be hard. But today, Wakanta Kayota Wakan, the great mystery of our great spirit. We want our grandson here to be a hand of the great spirit, in the hands of the power of our soul. And our relative on this side, you see the picture on the showing up. Not only him, it happened in urban Indians. Urban Indians, it happened to our children. So we got to stand together. We're going to look at it and look at it in a way that we're going to bring the unify. We got to join together as who we are, Lakota way of life. Oh, hey. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be, we got to fight the rights that we are being violated from our people. Oh, Anybody wants to sing at this time, you may do so. To the we like you want to Hey, I can't tell you about that. My friends, we are gathered here today to try and get justice on this reservation. Because what happened was wrong. And that's all there is to it. And we want answers. A young man's life has ended, a cop has got his, he's killed somebody, and I'm here to tell you, it is bad all around. Like I said at the funeral, this is bad for everybody. And the only way to get justice is to keep pushing. So this march is the first of many. It's the first of many until we can get the proper answers and we can find justice. This is not about attacking each other. We don't like what happened, but the fact of the matter is, the majority of the police who serve here are Lakota. We need to get everyone together, as we've just been told, so that we can follow a way of life that <coughs> honors everybody. This is not about attacking each other. This is about bringing all of the Oyate together again. Uh -oh. So that we can find justice for everybody on this reservation. Uh -oh. You are the spear, the tip of the spear for finding this justice so that nothing can be swept under the rug. And if we stand together, 
respectfully and forcefully. We can change what's happening here. If we want our babies to grow up in safety, and for some of you who are like your age, you're still a baby to me because I have grandchildren older than you. We have to watch out for each other and we have to care for each other and follow all of the Lakota values, which are the same values as the Christian ones. I'm not telling you anything new. Oh. This is not about rock throwing. It's not about name calling. This is about respect. There will be no justice if there is no respect. And the shootings will continue. And our people will continue to harm each other if we forget to respect each other. So today, we start. And we bring more people in. And we teach them what it means to respect each other. And if we work hard enough, and we get enough people involved, we can change everything on this rest. And we can get rid of that awful alcohol and that awful meth, and we can stop the problems with our children going hungry. We can do this, but it starts with respect for ourselves and for each other. I've already talked to the vice president of the tribe to let them know that we are coming and that we are not coming to throw rocks, verbally or physically. I've called to tell them that we are seeking justice. So that's, let's go forth and do that. Let us pray.